Hello everyone and welcome back to Fableheim and the Rising Yellow Sky. With her ye we resume. Where we left off at the end of the last episode with an end turn. Her ye staring off into some very lovely mountains. And we find ourselves in a curious moment of peace. Well, unless this guy has anything to say about it. And I don't mind joining this war. But I think this might make us a little treacherous, wouldn't it? Liu Zhong. Hmm. Let us negotiate this. The map is all turned around. But Liu Zhong's faction is here. I think we can find it on the list real quick. Yes. So the person asking us to join this war is Zhang Kai, who took over for Gongdu when he passed away. Uh, it seems Liu Zhang is at his doorstep. Conveniently... We do have an army right here in the stone forest. I wouldn't mind doing this. Who do you have allies? Kingdom of Yan and Kong Rong. Uh oh. That's a little alarming because Kong Rong has territory over here. We'll pass for now, I think. Sorry, Zhang Kai. Ever onwards, regardless. Indeed, ever onwards. Towards enlightenment. Unfortunately, Zhang Kai, I believe your time will soon be coming to an end. The Kingdom of Song commanded their vassal Zhang Yan to join the war against Kong Rong. Poor guy. We've gained an officer. And we shall soon have rebellion in Xiao Ji. I did uh, rush a few things here. But we'll just have to exempt this room quick. Jiaoji is making us some money because of the spice market, which we are going to upgrade. Spend a few turns upgrading anyway. Now that we didn't go to war with uh, Liu Zhang, so we don't have a whole lot to do here. Apparently, summon the merchants is one of them. But other than summoning the merchants, we don't have a whole lot going on. Perhaps we'll keep this army here just in case. And out. I would like to complete this commandery. That would make me incredibly happy. But the time to strike peace. is not now. It could be soon, but it is not now. Let's see. How are you doing? The Han Empire. You are alone. You are weakened. <laughs> we shall liberate. We're not going to declare war yet. But currently, they are not the vassal of anyone. So we'll just, you know, uh, <clears throat> liberate their territory. Now, I wouldn't mind... Hmm. Perhaps I would think about this more intelligently. We would have gone north first. But we did see a bunch of armies over here. You can still see some of them. So I guess we'll just head, head down this way first. Ling Hu Ting Bao was never one to shy away from danger. So she'll just come this way. Hopefully Nan Hai remains untouched, but only time will tell. In Sao Leong, we can upgrade the salt mine. Cool. And Hebu. Low public order, but it is recovering swiftly onwards to another end turn i think what are we researching now harmonious architecture ah yes more spice income i don't know what i just pressed but i didn't mean to press it so this is liu bei's forces i believe one of Sao Sao's forces are either in the fog of war or in ambush stance do I brazenly walk into it? Maybe. I could see Ling Hu Ting Bao doing that, to be completely honest. Another uneventful end turn. The Kingdom of Yan commanded Yu Lang Lan to join the war against Zhu Jing. The Kingdom of Song commanded the vassal Zhang Yan to join the war against Liu... Or Jia Long, excuse me. I was just trying to guess what his name was. Kingdom of Yan declared war on Zhang Yan. Excuse me? 
Oh, Zhang Yan is the Kingdom of Songs vassal. Okay, I got it. Confusion result. We got an eavesdropper, which we hate. Wu Fan has passed away of natural causes. Someone is immovable, so we'll give them some money. That dilemma we've had a hundred times. To arms. There's Attack. the army. We could have gone down there, but there is no need. Because he would have just Cunning ran away. Triumphs over brute force. I mean, he probably would have ran away. This will meet our needs. Let us promote them and hope that it's a healer. Take a look at our court real quick and our myriad of recruits. It is a veteran. Huh. Oh well. We do currently have two healers, Bian Shi and Duan Shi. And Bu Zhuan, of course. And Bao Gun. And Ling Kuting Bao. I guess that's enough for now. We have minus food. We just had an incredible amount of food. Where did it all go? Excuse me? Video game? We had like 55 food just a few turns ago. What did you do to it? Income from Spice Faction wide. Okay. We'll do that. I bet it was assignments. Yes, it was assignments indeed. Do we have anyone else that can do food? Yes, agricultural exploitation. Where do we make a lot of food? Sangwoo has 34. That's not much. But I mean, the 34 is a lot. So I guess that's where we're going. Saying woo. Employ volunteers. No, I want this one. Yes. Boom. So next turn, our food issue will be resolved. We could actually also... We have a lot of peasantry here, so we can also do this one. Boom. That will resolve our food issue. No one can be horribly upset. Nanhai. What are we doing in Nanhai? We could upgrade the city. Maybe? I'm not against it, really. I think first we should upgrade our rice patty. Get our food production solid, even without uh, assignments. Yi Zhao, you're over here. Oh, you're this city. Let us try and fix your public order. I like this building a lot. The one that gives satisfaction, faction-wide, and public order, and money. All of those things are great. I love them all. Uh, Ling Ling has a construction available, but we can't really do anything about that. This is where our food went. I exempted Jianji, so we're not getting any food from there. And that gives us a lot of food. It turns out 42, in fact. That's a lot of food. That is where the food went. But we'll leave it exempt one more turn because we have those uh, assignments coming in to help us. And I think that is it. Nope, just kidding. Stay true. Goodbye. We will become slightly more untrustworthy. Strike together. But hey, no one ever said rebellions were clean. We need Let a small amount of treachery. To reform the they Celestial Empire. Need they need something, alright. I answer your request. So we've completed the commandery of Yulin at long last. Next is Sao Ling. Is that a G? I don't think so. I can't tell though. If it is a G, I'm sorry, but let's keep calling it Sao Ling for now. And Guoda. I don't know what I'm doing with you. We could go over here real quick. Prepare my chambers. Because this will help I with the the public order without us having to exempt it later. That's probably wise. We do have 1600 gold now. What is your problem? Population. Yeah, that'll do that. So 
So I think we just put in the other thing. This one. I mean, why not, right? We all love that building ever so much. Another quick end turn. What happens next? The Kingdom of Wei. <laughs> no. He wanted to give me a lot too. It was 1,500 gold a turn. What you doing? South is probably pressed on all fronts though. And we did destroy two of his armies, you know. Ling Hu Tingbao kind of went crazy in the last episode. To be fair, she does that in almost every episode. So it's not like there's anything new. No diplomacy changes that turn. Interesting. We did obtain a clay fish. Great. And Xiao Yi has gained a rank. Who are you? I feel like this is the problem with the uh, yellow turbans. You just have so many heroes. Generals. Whatever. Lords. Swiggity sweetie. You ran really far. It's kind of rude, bro. I would have loved to go this way, but not much of a choice. We don't care about trade influence. We'll just upgrade the toolmaker to try and get a better garrison. How are ye? Um, how do I get here easily? Is there a way? Probably through the water. On the march. We do own this river, basically. So it doesn't, not that we need replenishment, we're fully replenished. And because we're fully replenished, full speed ahead. We'll swing around and hit the city from the side. Something very loud is happening outside, and I hope you cannot hear it. But I can hear it. Summon the merchants. I would browse their goods. I would browse their goods. But there's not a whole lot for you to do, bro. Here, have this. I think we'll leave Jiao Xi exempted for one, maybe two more turns. And then we will resume reaping our rewards. Gordon's just kind of, you know, being our beacon in the north. The beacons of Gondor are lit! Sort of thing. I don't like how close you are to my lumber yard. Sao Sao. And of course, having the Han as an enemy is no big deal because they are incredibly passive. We've gained new research and no diplomatic changes again. We have a Book of Rights. That's cool. Zuozi Dao is now philanthropic. Good for you, buddy. So I believe that is all we can do on spices. We can check, though. If there's more spice to be had, you can bet I'm going for it. What is her man? Oh, I wanted this, didn't I? Ammunition for all units is good. And I want this. I think he's a veteran. We need her man, the strongest of all, to have a, a position worthy of him. For the way. He's a scholar. Okay, my apologies, her man. Nope. Here you go. 30 Enlightenment and the Lord of Heaven. I don't know if I would Marching. picture someone named Her Man as the Lord of Heaven, but you know what? We're just going to go with it. He Man can be whatever he wants to be. You know? Let can I Kaden. still move? Wow. Tailing. That's kind of impressive. All right, Ling Hu Tingbao, can you catch him? Spread Maybe. Quickly. Have I got distracted Moving. chasing this guy around? You bet. Them. Am I still going to chase him? Absolutely. Ling Ling. We could get the final level of the Toolmaker, which I think we're going to do because money. That's almost all of our current money, of course. And we can't do much here. How is that other city fe uh, feeling about us now? Not that one, this one. Minus six. Hmm. Faction support is almost entirely renewed. But we can do something about that. Who dislikes the least satisfied person is Bao Jiejiang. I feel like I butchered that, but here, public order. Now, 
Give me all that money. I have earned it. That kind of sounds not Yellow Turban rebellion y. <laughs> Give me the money. But hey, we have the spice markets. You know what that means? Those who control the spice markets control the world. <laughs> you know, for someone who supposedly controls the world, we are not at war with a lot of people. Ooh, diplomacy changes. King No Song commanded Zhang Yan to join the war against Cao Cao. <laughs> he commanded Liu Shang to join the war against Jia Long. And the Kingdom of Wei vassalized Kong Rong. Oh. Hmm. Living in harmony. There is art in subtlety, but truth in being direct. Truth forms the solid bedrock of a strong friendship built to last. Two of your retinue, unflinchingly honest, are building their friendship on this basis. Never afraid to tell one another the hard truths. Their bond is wrought in them. Yi Yangling and Xiao, Ji, Xiao Yi are now friends. I don't know who they are, but good. We have a craftsman. Har Yi and Zuo Dan are now Osworn. Great. And Su Hui is now honest. Okay, we are making so much money. I shall not waver. It makes me happy. What do I want to put here? We have a lot of peasantry and a moderate amount of income from commerce. As well as eight farming. So if possible, we want to increase commerce income. Like with this building. We'll even rush it because why not? In Yulin, we want to upgrade the spice market. <laughs> that was a no-brainer. And in Nanhai, livestock farm. Luling, oh, you have two empty spots, but I... Hmm, let's get this one. You probably want to put uh, commerce here. Oh, wait, no, this is peasantry. Peasantry. We could do this one. That would give us a sizable amount of public order. Not that we need it at the moment. We could just increase. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Hepu. Here you go. Only faith purges oh. Sickness. Yeah, I need to go to normal stance. Der... It is completely abandoned. Okay. Now, with Haryi, do we go down here? I think so. Let us claim this. And then we can go this way. Do we go to war in the north? How are you doing, Zhongkai? <gasps> You've made progress. I'm so very proud of you. So proud. And you didn't move at all. Conserve spirit. He's encamped. To war. Are we going to get a fight for once? So being encamped means that they are... Hiding, basically. Cowering inside their man-made fort. Which we don't really care about. I think we have fire arrows. Oh, maybe we don't. If we have fire arrows, this is going to be really easy. If we don't have fire arrows, it'll be a little disappointing. But we'll find out. They do have... What are these guys called? Defenders of Heaven? Or Earth? Okay, first things first. No fire arrows. Rip. And we can't see inside their army. Er, here they go. The protectors of heaven. Excuse me. Heavy glaive infantry. Oh, that's scary. What is your range? Very, very far. There's no way it's that large. That's what she said, and it sure is. All right. I have a plan. It's a bold plan. But I think it's what we're going to do. Oh, I'm crazy. So they're all deployed here, right? They think we're coming from this direction. But they don't know shit. <laughs> Ling Hu Ting Bao shall lead the charge. 
because she is not a coward. Will she die? No. Will her friends die? Maybe. But that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I feel like I've made that joke a number of times, but it's never going to get old. Here we go. Run, Yoshia. I kind of want to range down the uh, the heavy glaive infantry first. I also want to capture this tower. So we're all going in. Similar strength. I'm sorry, you what? Go kill her. No one is similar strength with Ling Hu Ting Bao, the queen of duels. Oh, I thought it said I already won. I'm like, well, see my point. She just begun the duel. That's fine. This tower belongs to us. See if our cab can just run this guy over. Probably not. Probably run. That seems good. Where are these guys? Shoot them down. Bring it down. You are actually somewhat sturdy, huh? Yeah, that's a good idea. Run straight in strike. Run straight into my heavy infantry. That'll work out well for you. I promise. At the ready. Steal yourselves. We have both of our scholars here beating on Tufaba. Does battle wear you out? We could. Do you Amazing have the thing? that you can both talk and battle. Move on quickly. We'll back Stop up and use breach. There we go. Ling Huting Bao has emerged victorious. She fled. Good. Okay. Let's see if we can get our cav around. Because they're currently engaged in combat. She's routing. You don't want to duel. Duel me, bro. Where's the vanguard? Oh, he's over here. He's kind of wavering already. Some of our horses have ran off into the forest. They returned to Narnia from whence they came. Or something. The venerable Wu are coming. We left them out because they are incredibly squishy. We did not want them to uh, take the brunt of any damage. So we just want to inundate them in this giant line. All of the fire is happening. We are suffocating a little bit, but don't worry. Tis but a scratch. How is suffocating a scratch? I don't know. Probably in the same capacity that losing your arm is but a scratch. I'm very impressed that I even got that reference. <laughs> Let alone that I made it. I've grown as an individual. Well, some of our cav are a little weak. Can I kill the other guy? Doesn't want to duel. <sighs> a pity. So we're going to run to this blob with Ling Hu Ting Bao and heal. A bit of a shame that our cav won't get it, but that's okay. This is a big circle. Maybe I should pull my kit. Nah, whatever. Just kill the dude. And keep pulling the cab away from Spears. Well, thanks for burning down your entire base for me. I really appreciate it. There he goes. Oh, get back up, you coward! <laughs> you coward! Stand back up and fight! Do it! Oh, well, can you rear charge and get away from all those spears, please? See if we can get the Venerable Wu to kill the spears. That would be very nice. Please, Yoshia. Oh, Chanters. Oh, run. Run, please. You're not really in much of a formation, but yeah, hold it. Hold it right there. Again, I wish I could have healed our cavalry. But, you know, it is what it is. 
Down to two and four units. They have taken more of a beating than anyone else in this fight. Except maybe the enemy. I'm just going to send the men of the forest after the random archers. Because the men of the archers, men of the forest, excuse me, are not the best combatants. But they're still better than, than most other archers. I muted because I felt the sneeze coming on, but I couldn't sneeze. Hmm. Feels bad. Which means I'm just going to randomly sneeze now during a fight. Great. All right, we're going to fast forward. They are basically broken. Just random things remaining that need to die. And there is the break, except for these very brave G militia. I remember in one of the... I probably mentioned this, but in the earlier builds of uh, Three Kingdoms, the G militia were just almost unbreakable. Why was a tier one unit almost unbreakable? I don't know. Well, this is a close victory that the AI predicted. Good job, AI. That being said, I was probably a lot cleaner than what they would have done. Because the uh, protectors of heaven didn't get to do anything at all. A quick wit dodges the hardest blow. It does. We have captured Zhao Zhe, the coward, the craven that ran from Ling Ho Ting Bao. Is preferable. Ooh, an heirloom spear. They have nothing to contribute to China. Money? Replenishment. Money? We have no use for them. When drawing a bow. And double tap. Breath. Goodbye. Ooh, that one was brutal. They lacked a coherent strategy. Money. Them is a waste of our resources. How is your garrison? Oh, it's pretty thick. Crash upon them. But that's okay. Oh, it's still a decisive vi victory. Good. Cunning now I'll just sit here and replenish her a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean probably two turns. This At location most. Suits our plan. At most. <laughs> wisdom. Let's upgrade that ourselves so that it's a, the garrison's a little better. Sao Sao has fully recruited down here. Hopefully he doesn't strike at Nunhai. That would be incredibly irritating. Prepare my chambers. I apologize for that sound. It was a dog who has been perfectly asleep until I began recording. Then she decided, you know what? I'm going to make some noise. All right, what are we doing? Nothing more, I think. Methinks we have an intern phase to do. I like how Guo Da is just kind of hanging out in the corner, repeating cool lines. You know, we could go to war with Liu Zhang now that um, Kong Rong is a vassal of Cao Cao. It really doesn't make a difference now because Cao Cao can just be like, yo, kill him. And Kongwon wouldn't have much of a choice. He'd have to go to war with me. And it would be sad. Because I like Kongrong. The kingdom of Song has signed peace with Zhang Kai. Thus piecing him out with literally everyone. Cool. Oh, and then Zhang Kai turns around and declares war on Jia Long. Kingdom of Yan declared war on Zhang Kai. Liu Zhang signed peace with the kingdom of Wei. And kind versus cruel. As you meditate, you ruminate on the nature of society. You know of administrators who are benevolent and compassionate, and their people love them for it. Yet others are cruel and barbaric. The people hate them, but they do not rebel out of fear. Can there ever be a right opinion? Now, we can, only, we can either ignore this or just go with kindness because we are not cruel, and we're going to go with kindness. While no option is correct, helping others will help you continue to learn. Cool. We are now closer with Shi Ji. Do I know who that is? Nope. But relationships are great. I would meet with my advisors. So both of our cavalry are convalescing for one more turn. We could go this way, I suppose. Who are you? Quite, yeah. Liu Shang. But we're going to end up at war with him very soon. Very soon indeed. I think the play is to turn around. Oh. Yeah, turn around. Gather everyone. There are 
plans to draw up. Hmm. Be still to conserve spirit. I was going to say turn around and take the city of Yuzhang, but we need to defend against Hu Zhu, who actually has a sizable army. How do I see? There it is. So the balance of power is ever so slightly in his favor, I think. But remember, we do have two. I don't seek to waste your time. You're rude, Zhao Song. Um, I totally lost my train of thought because she was being a dick. <laughs> uh, yes, we have two convalescing cavalry units, and most people are at half health. So, well, most of the front line. The archers are perfectly healthy. Let's get into the water again with Haragi. The way is the only law. The way. On the path. We'll reclaim the Hepu Lumber Yacht. That seems to be the fastest way there. The troops need respite. Yes, they do. Everyone needs respite every now and then. Luling. Should probably build this up, huh? Should we put a garrison here? Maybe. This is pretty close to enemy territory. Income from industry. Oh. Hey, Ling Ling. You don't need this anymore, do you? <laughs> <clears throat> no, of course not. Have this. Yes. More money. I've changed ever since I got a hold of the spice market. My control of the world has changed me. I mean, it changes everyone, doesn't it? What am I doing? I wanted to go over here. So yes, yeah, so we're replenishing. We're heading towards this guy, and I believe that is an end turn for us. We can check diplomacy real quick, because I think our deals are mostly expired. You don't like us. Good. You kind of don't. You now don't. We were exploiting that, our friendship together. I don't think Liu Zhang likes us much. I don't think he dislikes us. I just don't think he likes us, you know? Oh, yeah. I remember this happening. This is very disappointing. But we can still trade with you. Hey, I can't use this, bro. Let me know if you can. You have a stone rooster. Good. Good. I can't use this. I don't think I can use axes. Are these the same thing? No, they're a little different. Here, have this one. Oh, is it a one-handed and two-handed? Yeah, I think so. Probably want that one. Don't care about this. I don't care about... No. There. How do you feel about this little bit? Uh, 2k. No. You aren't a fan of that. You have no money. That explains a lot, actually. You have a whopping 604 golds. Give me this. Oh, it's close. We can actually do this. Perhaps to give him something I really want, though. Like an heirloom spear. We have two of these, though. Here. Thanks, bro. Wait, is this... Yeah, this is fine. Thank you. That wasn't exactly what I wanted, but great. We now have the livestock farm. We got it peacefully. How unusual. Next turn. What are you going to do, Sao Sao? How are you going to throw a wrench in all of this? Hello. Huh. Yeah, sure. Take my book. I did not expect to get trade with you at all. But here we are. Don't take my tool maker. I liked this guy. More accurately, I liked the money he gave me. I'd love to fight this, but I'm not going to. 
<laughs> not not with three combatant generals. So the negative way to look at that is that we just lost a toolmaker, which is a valuable source of income for us. The positive way to look at that is he has now trapped himself. And we are going to take his head. Zhang Kai declared war on the Han Empire. The Kingdom of Yan guaranteed autonomy for Jia Long. How generous. Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait here a turn. For our calf. They don't need to be fully healed, but they do need some health. Sitting on 50 food, so do I upgrade the city? Who are we? Luling. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm feeling generous. Someone leveled. Or is really upset. Yi Young Lan has leveled. I'm glad she's not upset. I guess we're taking this. Give me more money. Har Yi needs to move. Yes. Remain upright. Claim the lumber yard, please. With conviction. A little faster, please. Thank you. Ready yourselves. Summon the merchants. I would browse their goods. I feel like I just keep clicking on this guy so I can hear him say, Summon the merchants. I would browse their goods. Six secrets teachings and Yi Yanglin was given new armor. And Bao Gun is impeccable. Ah. I was afraid this would have like the negative effects with it, but it's just public order. You know, if he was someone important. Which he's not. Not at all. Jiao Xi, positive. Give me that money. What does this do? This one first. That's all for money, huh? Okay. Case number one for why we need more money. We can't spend anymore. Shang Kai, how are you feeling? Still standing strong. I'm proud of you. Wait, it looks like you have an army here. Oh, you do. Nope, stop. Congratulations, you're gonna take Chengdu. Hey, you want to confederate or something? Not you. No, not you. Leave me alone. I want to take your territory. But you, I would love to confederate. He's getting there. Unfortunately, I can't add anything to this. But he's getting there. And he doesn't even want me to transition to a military alliance. Bro. One axe. Can I ax you a question? <laughs> Give me money. How do you feel about this? Probably not 2k, but... Okay, you're sitting on a maximum of one grand. That's not encouraging. Ooh. Any money at all? 400. Close, actually. Game. I was hoping it would just set the amount that he would be willing to give me for the ancillaries, but no. It would just remove things. This is what I would like. I could just go back. Oh, it's close. Go back and forth, pressing the button the entire time, but I don't want to. There we go. 23, 35. Sure, why not? A bountiful harvest. Maybe I should have made it more in his favor. So he'd like me more. Nah. I'll just continue to relentlessly expand, and then he'll feel pressured into confederating with me. Ah-ha! <laughs> Sounding more like a bad guy, aren't I? But don't worry. Our rebellion is noble. And pure of heart. Or something. Oh, no. No. I don't know if you realize this, bro. But Liu Bei is right on my doorstep. That's kind of my fault, right? For giving Liu Bei that territory so I could get a mad amount of money. But that aside, <laughs> he's still right on my doorstep. The Kingdom of Song commanded their master Liu Biao to join the war against Xia Long. And the Kingdom of Yan declared war on Liu Biao. Tao Ying has passed away and is succeeded by Wang Xu. 
Han Fu has passed away and is succeeded by Han Han Tong. Zhang Yang has passed away and is succeeded by Zhang Shangzhu. Okay, lots of death. Liu Zhang has a new capital, probably because Zhang Kai is being rude to him. And we have the Book of Mountains and Seas. How tranquil. How serene. Give me this lumber yard. Time for prayer and healing. Ah, the Southlands. All fly the banner of the Yellow Turban. Can I make it here? No. So I guess we're going here and ambushing. Ever onwards. Ambush. 85% chance is pretty good. And I don't think he's going to go this way because he'd be trespassing. So we're just going to go this way and smash the armies. But I do want to do with the city. I don't... I think we have to fight the armies, you know? And by I think we have to, I really want to. Commerce, thank you. And I believe we're going to end things there. Because, well, we've made enough progress for today, I think. I feel like, anyway. More food, because food is great. Sure have that, why not? Actually, before that. Spice markets. Yes, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the continuation Wait, what? Thank you all for watching. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed today's episode and look forward to the continuation of the rising yellow sky next time. And hopefully I don't mess up the outro next time. Bye-bye.